Hey guys, it's David from LeeUnlocker.com, and today we're doing another Android 101. This one's on how to set up your email on your new Android device. Okay, so now you got your Android device and you want to set up either personal or work email on it. Um, this is different from Exchange Mail. This is just setting up the email. If you want to set up an Exchange server, which will do your email, your contacts, your calendar, and sync them with your business's Exchange server, um, we'll have a link beneath this video on how to do that. That's a separate procedure. So if you just want to set up your email, we'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so this since this is a Google device, um, Google actually separates Gmail accounts from all other email accounts. So in order to set up a Gmail account, if you already have one, uh, this also goes for Google Apps accounts, uh, which is like Gmail accounts at a custom domain like at mobianlim.com, etc. You're going to go uh, into Menu, Settings, Accounts and Sync, and you're going to find, do Add Account, select Google. And then you're going to go through these steps to add your Google account. Simply add, put in your email address and your password, and then it's going to ask you if you want to sync your Google Calendar, Google Contacts, and Google Mail. And that's it. Um, now you might have gone through this step already once you set up your device um, initially. It's some of them uh, require you to set up a Google account before it lets you get to the home screen. So if you've already done that, then you're already set up. Your Gmail account is ready to go. You can do this though to add more than one Gmail account. Uh, which is a relatively new feature in Android. Um, besides that, if you wanted to set up a regular email account, something that is not a Google account, you would have to go about it a little differently. Okay, so to set up a regular email account, you're simply going to go to the email program. Not the Gmail program, remember, the email program. And you're going to first type in your email address and your password and hit next. It's going to automatically try to find your settings. Um, so if it's a popular thing like Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, those kind of things, it should automatically find those for you. And it's going to be as simple as that. Email address, password, next, 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 done. Um, if it doesn't find it, you're going to have to manually input your uh, pop settings, IMAP settings, or exchange settings. So we're going to show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so let's say for some reason it can't find my at mopianlim.com server settings um, because it's a custom domain or for whatever reason. When I hit next here, it's going to automatically show up the manual setup, so let's just hit that instead just to show you what that does as well. It's going to ask me what type of account this is. Now you can find this out depending on your account by Googling it. Um, Google the name of your account, the whatever's after the at symbol, and type in uh, you know pop3 and see what comes up. You can also type in the name of your account, so let's say it's Hotmail, hotmail.com pop settings, or hotmail pop settings, IMAP settings, whatever. Any of these names, these two right here, pop3, pop, or IMAP, uh, and that'll bring up your settings. Now, and that'll also let you know, obviously, which settings come up, which one you want to use. We're not going to get into too much detail about the difference between the two. Uh, one is basically with folders, which is IMAP, and pop3 is kind of as things come. So most of them are going to be pop three. So we'll select that. And now it's going to give me, populate the, the, the fields based on what it thinks are, are the correct uh, settings. But for this, I already know that this is wrong because I'm using Google to host my domain name uh, mail. So I know that this has to be changed. Now, again, to find out what these settings are for you, you're going to type in the name of your account, whether it's Hotmail, live mail, you know, whatever it may be, and type in the word pop settings or incoming mail settings even into Google and that should uh, find it for you. Then you're literally just going to put into the fields what it says. So it'll say mail server or incoming mail server, which is also called a pop3 server. You're going to put that in there. Usually it's something like mail.google.com, whatever. Um, the port number, chances are you're going to leave that as is unless the settings say to change them. Security type, again, you're gonna leave it as none unless, again, it says to change it. And uh, delete mail from server, you can just leave that as never. You do have other options though. Uh, you could do whenever I delete from inbox. So this means that the mail on your server, for example, in your Hotmail account when you log in on the computer, if you want it to disappear from there, 
um, whenever you delete it from here, you can change it to that. And this way, every time you delete something on here, it'll automatically delete it on your uh, normal Hotmail whatever account. So after you've put all that in, you're going to hit next. It's gonna check the settings and make sure that they're right. If they're not, it'll bring you back to this page and you'll have to try again. If they are correct, it'll then bring you to outgoing mail settings. And it's gonna look very similar to this with outgoing mail server name, port, you know, etc. Again, put in the fields the, with the corresponding information that you found while Googling. Once you're done there, you're gonna hit next one more time. It's gonna check those settings. If they're correct, you're all set. After that, it will automatically start syncing your mail. And then from then on, whenever you tap on the email symbol, it'll bring you to that account. In there, you can also hit menu and add account and go through the same steps again to add more than one mail account. Keep in mind again though, that Gmail is always separate from every other mail on an Android device. The Gmail has its own program called Gmail and every other email account is gonna go in the email settings of the email app. So that's it. Thank <laughs> you.